The world needs graduates in physics and scientific modeling because we need people that can work stringently, accurately, but that are also creative and think out of the box when solving problems. So this is a program in physics and physics is a very old subject that looks the same everywhere in the world. And when you study physics, uh, you do it because you can't help it, because you're just intrigued by it. What's special about our program is uh, that we think a lot about what is the role of physics also in other places of society, but also what is the role of different methods. So what thinking critically about how do we solve this problem? Do we do it numerically, analytically, maybe experimentally? What are the limitations when we make a mathematical model? What kind of information do we put into that model? You will be part of a small uh, research environment. One of the things we have is one of Denmark's biggest computers and one of the best software for, um, for molecular dynamics. Uh, that's been developed here at RUC and that you'll have access to as a student. We also have labs where we have um, methods, techniques that are in-house developed. We have a workshop that can support you in building up experimental setups. So it's a small environment, but it also means that you have very direct access to uh, the resources we have. One of the places where we sort of really uh, focus on this thinking as a physicist is um, in the course Problem Solving in Physics. It's a course where you end with a traditional four-hour exam, but it's not very traditional, because what you get are very open questions, and you have to make the assumptions. You have to say, maybe the cow is spherical, or you have to say, maybe the string has no mass, or whatever assumptions go into solving that problem. You as a student had to make those assumptions, then you have to formulate the mathematical problem, find the solution, and reformulate it back in a spoken language uh, to get conclusions out of it. As a student, you have a lot of freedom in choosing in what direction and how interdisciplinary uh, you want to make your studies. It's always interdisciplinary in the sense that it has physics, computer science and mathematics, but you also have the freedom to go in the direction of a more biophysical direction and even other directions in your project work. Graduates in physics from RUC and from other places and also graduates with scientific uh, computing and data science go to many different places. So there's not a specific place and they go into engineering type, type uh, jobs or workplaces. They go into the financial sector, medical industry, climate, energy, transport, lots of different places need these quantitative methods. A lot of our graduates go into a PhD or, and that's true for all physicists. And, but, and then after the PhD, you may stay in, in research or you may go to any of those uh, areas that I already mentioned. Teaching is also a big part of physics. So physics is an old subject that is taught on all levels. So we also have graduates going into teaching on different levels. What we expect from you if you come to study here is, of course, that you're eager to learn and to work hard. Learning uh, physics and quantitative methods is never something you do sleeping. You need <laughs> to put in a lot of effort and a lot of hours in that. But we also expect that you're curious uh, in understanding how things work out, but also in different ways of working and different types of methods, and that you take initiative and responsibility for your own education.